Hi. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, please. Okay. All right. Can you see my screen? Yes, please. So what is written on the screen? I need to correct that. It should be academic writing. Writing skills. And, and free seminar. I mean, with free seminar. Now, when we talk about now, when we talk about academic writing skills, please include that A there, okay? Have you heard me? Hello. Hi. Please, we can hear. Hi. You Hello. know now when you don't answer, it's as if I'm talking to myself. What do we mean by academic writing skills? Academic writing skills is ability to search the library and write out an academic paper that can be independently understood. Sorry, understandable. You write a paper that somebody will read, you are not there, and the person understands exactly what you're talking about. Academic. Who is that? Oh, yes. sorry, I am not using my phone, my laptop. I am in the studio. So, Dakas. For people on my friends, you people should please. Keep quiet because I don't have a co-host for now. Yeah. Is that clear? I am in the studio. I'm not using my system. So I don't have a co-host. Now, when we talk about seminar, seminar is ability to present um, a write-up. You could call it workshop or whatever. Now, you look at it there. That is teaching. That could be a seminar. And before I can come to, to teach, I have been able to do some library search. I have a, a write-up. And when you talk about seminar, we will come to the definition. But look at the pictures and understand them. A fellow uh, a student is giving oh, yeah. lecture to the class. Now, Yo, seminars, bro. this is another seminar. So In I a know. seminar like this one, it is likely to be a national seminar. We will come to that. That's why you see very many people and somebody standing, giving lectures, while you have facilitators the other way. Yeah. And so, huh? we come to the definition. What, what is a seminar? A class is noisy. Who is that person that is talking? Do we stop the lecture? Who are these people that are distracting the class? Dockers, are you not in the class? Please, should we continue? Yes, sister. Yes, sister. Yes, sister. Is it that, are you also in the studio that you cannot fish out that person that is disturbing with her husband? 
There's a family that is distracting the class. Or am I the only one hearing it? Probably she has muted herself. I hope so. Who is talking now? Probably me, Safwa. I don't know how you can help me because where I am, I am in a studio. I am not Probably. with my system. <laughs> Unless it's Mr. Yusuf who is controlling it. So unless he can make someone the co-host. I think the so. IT. Yes. I think so. Because I don't like that noise. Now, definition. I gave you a definition of academic writing. Academic writing... I hope you are going to take it down. Academic writing is an in-depth library search that enables an individual to write an academic paper. While seminar is a group of people coming together for the discussion and learning of specific techniques and topics. Now, if you take this specific technique, if you, uh, 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 sorry, if you take a specific topic, you have to take a specific technique to write. And to be able to write it effectively, you have to do an in-depth library search that becomes academic writing. And like I told you, there are classifications of seminars. I want to be sure you understand what I'm saying. Does anybody have a question, please? Hello? Hello. Hi. Hi. Do you understand what I mean by academic writing? No, Puff. Please, can you start all right again, please? Academic writing. Yes, sister. Is the ability yes, sister. of an individual to carry out an in-depth library search, resulting in that individual writing an academic paper that is independently understandable. You carry out a library search. For instance, you are your topic is on exclusive breastfeeding. You carry out an index library search. What is breastfeeding? Why is this one called exclusive? Are there advantages or are there disadvantages? Who are those that can carry out exclusive breastfeeding? Are you following me? That is in-depth library search. You come out with that findings, the, uh, the, the information you have gathered from the library. 
You now sit down to write a paper. You write that paper in such a way that you are not there. I come up, I pick up that paper, I read it and I understand exactly what you're talking about. That is academic writing. And so you can still use that writing, write up that you have made in a seminar, in a workshop, in research presentation, in anything you want to do. Is there any question? Still anything you don't understand? Shall we continue? Yes. Okay. I told us that seminars are in types. You have the classroom seminar, which is a mini seminar presented at the classroom level. At the end of this very course, we are going to do, we are going to have mini seminar presentation. All of you are going to present seminars. That is at the classroom level. It is called mini seminar. Then you come to a main seminar. The Department of uh, Nursing and Midwifery. I hope you now know that now you have Department of Nursing and Midwifery, not Department of Midwifery. The Department of Nursing and Midwifery could be uh, carrying out a seminar. Garden City University could have a seminar. So at that main seminar, we are talking about departmental level or institutional level. Then you move to the third type of seminar, which is the national seminar. Nursing and Midwifery Council of Ghana may be carrying out a seminar that is at the national level. Or oh, the Nursing and Midwifery Council of Ghana has, I hope that's what you call it. Is it Nursing and Midwifery Council? Hello. Hello. Oh, yes. 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 Is that the yes. name? Yes. Yes, please. Good. The Nursing and Midwifery Council of yes. Ghana could be carrying out an examiner's workshop. Oh, this workshop will be in Takoradi, it will be in Wa or anywhere, and it is expected that all the nurses in the country will converge there for that seminar. That is a national seminar. We are talking about nursing and midwifery council because we are nurses. The teachers could also have their own. But the important thing is that particular seminar is on, uh, on and um, what do they call it? At the national level. Hello. Hi. So for classification, there are three types of seminar. The mini seminar, which you will carry out after the uh, coursework now, after you must have done your library, uh, in-depth library search, and you carry it out. And then you have the main seminar, which is either from the department or from the institution. 
then you have the national seminar, which is carried out at the national level. Now, what you are seeing here is at the classroom level. At the classroom level, we are talking about teamwork. And one of the classroom members, not the teacher, is the one giving the talk. That is a mini seminar at the classroom level. Then you have the departmental seminar. At the departmental seminar, Department of Nursing and Midwifery, maybe there will be a seminar on aseptic technique or something. Or at the institutional level. Maybe the university is carrying it out. Or if you are in the school, your school of midwifery is carrying it out. Or if you are in the hospital, that hospital is carrying out a seminar. That is the departmental level or institutional level. Then you have at the national level. The national level, we are talking about what involves the whole country. You could have examiner's workshop or in the workshop, nothing and midwifery council decides to flute for the benefit of the profession, for the growth of the profession. I don't know whether here you have, um, there is one workshop we normally have and it gives you three credit units that will allow you re-register when your license has expired. And then you have um, international seminar. The international seminar, maybe there is a seminar in Canada, or there's a seminar in Nigeria, or there is a seminar in Ghana, which demands that people from all over the world, different nations could convene for that seminar. That is international. It has gone beyond the national level. Yes, even if they come from one country, they, you have a seminar here, and the people have to come from uh, uh, Bene Republic, or from Togo, or from Nigeria, or from um, um, Ivory Coast or wherever. The fact that it has crossed the border to another country makes it international. Seminar as a form of teaching. Seminar is a form of classroom organization. It utilizes scientific approach for the analysis of a chosen problem. You may decide that we want to talk about hand washing 
as a method of hygiene. And so people go into library search and come up with facts. And so a seminar is organized. It could be organized, like this one we are talking about, at the classroom level. You discuss it, and different members in the class, the class could be divided into groups, and they come in and present their seminars. What to do during hand washing, the advantages and all that. That is a seminar. A seminar is a form of a classroom organization that utilizes a specific approach for the analysis of a problem that has been chosen for discussion. A seminar is a discussion method of teaching where we have an informal group of about 10 to 15 people listening, not more than 25. You have about 10 to 15, not more than 25 learners participating to solve a problem in a scientific approach and analysis. We are still talking about hand washing. People come up and they begin to discuss about that. That is a scientific approach and they need to analyze what and what should be done to buttress the uh, maintenance of personal hygiene. And of course, when we talk about hand washing, it goes beyond personal hygiene. It helps not to transfer infection from one person to the other. It is an organized, guided discussion with a focus on the discovery of new relationships by the participating individual. We are still talking about hand washing. Hand washing as a measure of infection control. That discussion is organized. That discussion is guarded. Guarded in the sense that you are talking about hand washing as a measure of infection control. With a focus on discovery of new relationship by the participating individuals. When we talk about hand washing, what are we talking about? What is the important, what is the new thing that usually people will put water in a wash hand basin, some will put soup there, some will, will use the, the tablet soup, and wash their hands. They wash their hands in the basin, they rinse their hands still in that same water and they think it is clean. But the new discovery now is you wash your hands under running water because even though you have used soap, if you wash your hands inside there, you are recontaminating the hands that you said you have washed. So the best thing to do is with your detergent, you wash your hands under running water. 
you wash your uh, nail beds very clean and wash your hands as far as the elbow. And when you finish, you don't just pick up any towel to dry. You may decide to uh, 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 air dry or you use a clean towel. Those are the discoveries. And these are the things that these people that are discussing it will have to discuss. Is there anything you want us to go back? In seminars at classroom level, I want you to understand that students play an important part. They, they, they play an important um, initiative in it. It is not like the intellectual initiative. The intellectual initiative, the academia, is the one who will take it up. She or he initiates it and brings the paper and presents the paper. You ask the person questions. But in classroom seminar, we are talking about the students playing the initiating part. They do the presentation. You ask them questions and other colleagues in the class contribute. So please, so far. I want to hear your reactions, please, before we continue. Hello. Hi. Sister. Hi. Yes. I'm waiting for your reactions. Hi, sister. Yes, please. I'm waiting for your reactions because after this, you're going to do presentations. Yes. Who is talking, please? Hello. <laughs> Hi. Hi. And you don't ask questions. It means you don't understand what we are seeing. It's not a question of hi. Ask questions so that I know where to correct. I know you understand what we are saying. It's good to get it right at the beginning. <laughs> ah, 
Hello. I don't want to continue and you have not understood what we are saying. Please ask questions. Hello? Hi, sister. Hmm. Are you people still there or is just one person that is there? Sister, we are here. We are here. Ask yes, questions sister, now. Please, we are here. Please, we are here. Yes, I know you are there. Ask questions. We are talking of a topic that is more or less strange, new. And a topic that you will need to do presentations. This topic you are hearing is very important because your project hangs here. Hello, sister. Yes, please. Please, my question is that initially started with the classification of the seminars. You mentioned that we have three types of seminars. That is the the main, the mini, the small one. But you later yeah. added the international one. So it's for. Uh huh. You said with the international one, what happens? That one too is when the seminar is inviting people from yes, the international seminar is uh, is called international seminar. It is also a major seminar. The national is major, the international is major. Yes, I put the, the the mini, the main, and the national. Probably what I should have done would have been to put national slash international. Because if I don't put that, somebody will say, ah, but we didn't learn about this. It is the same seminar, but what happens is that this one crosses, it goes beyond the country. Do you understand that? The national seminar is within the country. The international seminar goes beyond the country. Like we always have the, the ICM. The ICM, International Confederation of Midwives. In fact, the last one we couldn't attend because some countries have been banned. When I say we, I don't know about Ghana, but I know Nigeria is one of the countries that is banned from entering that country. Sister. Yes, please. Hello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to Yo. Ah, I want to 
Yes, please give us a, a co-host. The students are making too much noise. Hello. So did you hear my explanation about uh, um, the national and the international uh, workshop? Yes. Is that the only question? The objective of the seminar is to give students opportunity to participate in methods of scientific analysis and research procedures. Um, what we do usually when we teach a topic like this, students will pick, will choose a topic along with their lecturers and they, sub, they present. But because your time is short, we decided that you use your research topic. The reason is this. You use your topic to do the library search. Hello? Hello? Students, are you still there or you have gone? Ah. Hello? Dockers, are you people there? Yes. You say? But you can hear me. Can you hear me? Oh, you cannot answer me. <laughs> and that becomes a problem because I need to know that you are there. Ah, well, I did. Because I called you, help me when I called you soon. Okay, yeah, telling him that there's too much noise. So probably he muted everybody. <laughs> there at the ICT unit, it becomes a problem. So what do I do? Okay, maybe if there's a way you can communicate to the students, if anybody has a question, let the person just call and we discuss it. So as I'm talking now, they are hearing me, isn't it? Okay, so discuss with, if they are hearing me, anybody who has a question, please uh, uh, call. Because if people were making too much noise. Okay. So like I said, the objective of the seminar is to give students opportunity to participate in methods of scientific analysis and research procedures. Now, this will help you in your search. For instance, um, I have just made a statement that because you don't have enough time 
instead of um, choosing another topic to go into the in-depth library search and all that, it will take your time. We use your proposal, your research proposal. The research proposal is not scored, but you will be scored for midway free seminar. I hope you understand what I'm saying. The idea there is that you, you, you get into the library search that is required. You get into the library search that is required you do your in there. For instance, again, you are writing about exclusive breastfeeding. You get into the library search, in-depth library search for exclusive breastfeeding. You sit down and do the writing. And then you present. The presentation, it is your proposal, all right, but you are going to cut it very short to maybe 10 slides and you present. You will not be scored as per proposal, but you will be scored as per the seminar. So you are using one stone to kill two birds. While you are doing your library search for your project, for your project work, you are at the same time doing the seminar. I hope you understand. Now that I cannot know whether you are hearing me or not, it becomes a problem. That is the disadvantage of talking. Okay. All right. Students are expected to do considerable library search, that's what I call in-depth library search prior to the seminar. You are expected to do considerable library search prior to your seminar. And so, instead of doing this library search for, um, um, for the seminar topic, and then you go again and do it for your research, we deem it right to make you do it at the same time. To make you do it at the same time. So that you present it as seminar, and at the same time, you're writing your, um, at the same time, you're writing your, what do we call it? At the same time, you're writing your research. Okay? Okay. A seminar group is mainly concerned with academic matters rather than individual student matters and commonly involves the reading of an essay or a paper by one group member followed by a discussion by the total group on the topic. That is the ideal. That is the ideal. When you have a seminar group of 10 to 15 or 25 people writing on a topic, when they write on this topic, one person is expected to present. As that person presents, the rest of the people now discuss. But because we hear, when you bring that, that, when bring out that, everybody will run away. Nobody will want to discuss. Nobody will want, they will leave it all for one willing person 
and they take the glory. So for that reason, they prepared the, the, the work, they all presented together. Now, I don't know how to ask whether you all understand what I am saying. Let me... I want to know whether you understand what I mean. Your research projects is usually in groups. So you will work in those groups. Do you people understand what I'm saying? You say? You say what? Is that Dr. Stocking? Who is who is this talking? Okay. <laughs> you see, the punishment is on me. That's why people say a warder is a prisoner. Hmm. You see, <laughs> you see the meaning post. Why well, can't you hear them? I can't see. So right now they have all been <laughs> muted. So they, they cannot, we, they don't discuss. Yeah, so you can listen to them now. Mm -hmm. So how do I mute when they make noise? If somebody is making noise, I come there and mute. Why don't you make this thing? It's one of them. Okay, please, you can just put it. You can see the with that here. Let's see. Yeah, switch of that. Oh my God. So we want to read the next paper, which is an institution to participate. People are going to come up with to meet all of them. Thank you. Hello, are you still seeing the, the board? Yes, yes, sister. Yes, sister. Yes. Yes. That's where we are, am I right? This is where we are. This is, or rather, this is where, okay, no. It was here. Yes. Two of us, it was there. True. Yes. We were here. Yes, please. Yes. 
we said the students are expected to do a considerably library search prior to the seminar. Ever since we sat down here, I've been talking about library search and library search, that you have to go into in-depth library search. And so I was telling you why we decided, for your own good, we decided that the students you can see um, you can see a student there. Can you see the students doing a library search with his or her laptop? We decided that if you have to choose a topic to do in-depth library search and present, it will take your time. Therefore, you use your topic and do the presentation. And then another thing we were talking about, yes, was that that group is concerned with academic matters rather than individual students' matters. And it commonly involves reading of an essay. When we get to it, you will know. You get these facts. When you gather these facts, as you are in the library gathering the facts, you take time to write the references. Otherwise, you will not be able to um, 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 remember where you got that. So once you get something, a fact, you get a, you get a sheet of paper or an exercise book, you write your references. Now, after writing, you have to read it, keep it aside for a while, then come back and reread it. When you have done that and you think you are done with it, you give it to somebody to read. So what we were talking about, yes, I now remember, is that in a group, one person, a group member is asked to present followed by discussion by the total group. Like you are usually three in your groups, in, a, in one group. That's what we use. But you find out that for us here, most times students will not want to participate. They leave it all to one person. So we always advise that whether you are making nine slides or 10 slides, of you must be involved. You do the presentation, you do the writing together, you do the presentation, and then we will now do the scoring. Now, the role of a teacher is to help students to select, formulate, and resolve the most significant problem and suggest the available sources of information. That is the role of a teacher. You have been helped to select your topics, fine. I am helping you to tell you that you have to get into the library. The library, the internet is a very small world today. Get into any library, Google search, and get information about your topic and bring it out. As the seminar progresses, the, 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 the students assume greater, um, um, I put it here greater, but actually you, you, you assume greater mastery of what you are doing. You understand better what you are doing and you present it in a better way. Initially, you will learn, but gradually you understand and present it. Characteristics. The characteristics of a seminar. The teacher is the leader. The teacher is not part of the seminar groups the teacher will lead. When you people come that day, 
you will see that as you're presenting, the teacher will be leading you. I don't know whether you are, I think, okay, in this one, you have the Kumasi group, you have the Takoradi, you have um, the Tamale group, and then uh, which other one has come in now? There's another one, what's the name? Remind me of the name now. I don't know whether Cape Coast is still under uh, Takoradi or on their Uforidia. own. Uforidia is one. There's, the, there's another one. What? What for? I don't know, but there are others. So you will be presenting like that in different uh, uh, locations. But for you, because of the peculiarity of your number and what we have done, you present it. Um, who is that person? Give that child meal to drink or biscuit, not to disturb us. So that you, 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 you present it three at a time. The topic is initially presented by the presenter followed by the group discussion. That is what the ideal is. But in this case, you people will do the presentation. Questions will be asked you and you discuss. The leader should keep the discussion within limits so that the focus of discussion can be mentioned, so that it can be maintained. The focus of discussion can be maintained. This one is not a touch screen. So like I said, the teacher is the leader. The teacher will be there to maintain limits of the discussion. But you do your presentation of your topic. So as I talk now, you all know your groups, you get, you begin to get into your library search. We will come up in, a, we will have a lesson on how to write an academic paper. As we are going, please, anywhere you feel like, just stop me. In student seminars, students present their data in an informal way under the leadership of the teacher, followed by a teacher monitored discussion. Rather than data here, we are talking about facts. You present your facts in an informal manner, but followed by a monitored uh, discussion, a teacher monitored discussion. In all, you must participate. All members take part in discussion in an informal way, but they must be monitored. The discussion must be monitored. The chairperson should be skilled in encouraging the timid participants. When those groups are formed, unfortunately, unfortunately, your own groups will be three. You have a leader in that your group. The idea is that that leader should be intelligent and that leader should encourage the other ones that are timid. And that is why in that group, you have a leader, you have a secretary. So a student secretary may record the problems that come up and the solution given to them. What do we mean? In that group, where you are three, some of you are two, this is peculiar. The ideal thing is that it should be five. 
um, what do we say, 10 to 15 or 25. But in that group, even in your group, you will have a third person who is a leader and you will have a secretary. So that by the time you get into the presentation and the discussion, the secretary will be writing down whatever corrections that are given so that you go back and improve on it. But please, the leader of the group should make sure that everybody is carried along. Do for me and let me pay you is not allowed. You all get into library search. So you, 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 you are likely to say, okay, one person will take the introduction, one person will take the body of the work, another person could take the summary and references. Organizing a seminar paper. Number one, you must define the purpose of the seminar. What is the purpose of the seminar? Is it for academic? Is it to teach people something or what? You define the purpose. Number two, relate the topic of the seminar and discussion to the main concept or the objectives to be achieved. If you are carrying out a seminar, you must define the purpose. Is the purpose to get knowledge? Is the purpose to teach people? So that topic must be related to the concept and or the objectives so that you will be able to achieve those goals. Yes, I'm waiting for discussions before we continue. Hello. Hi. Yes, we'll go far. I want you to get what we are saying because remember that this topic that you are doing, this course covers two things. It covers your project writing, it covers seminar presentation, and it covers your project defense. So I am expecting a lot of questions. Still waiting. Am I to go back? Is there any place you want, you don't understand? We have gone far. Yes. I'm doing this so that you will remember to say, oh, in a particular place, or oh, that slide I didn't understand. Please ask questions. If you don't get it right now, you'll find it difficult. Are you looking at what I'm doing? Yes, sister. Somebody asked a question. Yes, here we had national seminar, you could put it national slash international seminars. I say departmental or institutional are the same. National has to uh, do with the whole nation. While international, it goes beyond a nation. The mini seminar has to do with the classroom. And we say seminar is a form of a classroom teaching. 
please ask me questions. I don't want you to say we didn't understand what she was saying. The characteristic of a seminar is that the teacher is the leader while the students carry out their search and their write up, the teacher monitors the discussion to ensure that it remains under focus. Every member must take part of the seminar. That's what I am saying. And in a seminar, you have um, the chairperson and the secretary. The chairperson has a duty to pull others, to pull others that are weak, that would have naturally hidden in the background. Why must they be pulled out? They must be pulled out because Tomorrow, they are all graduates. Nobody, they will not, they could be working somewhere and the charge notes will say, oh, that lady there is a graduate. Come and write a paper for seminar presentation. You will not go and call your class or the person who was the chairperson in your discussion. You will do it yourself. Hello. Hi. Even though the teacher is um 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 is the moderator, the teacher has a duty to her in the initial stages of this method so as to ensure that you do not get out of the points. Assuming now somebody is presenting and there is a long silence, the people will become, they will become agitated. So the teacher immediately steps in to make sure that the class is not boring, to make sure that the essential points are not overlooked, and uh, to make sure that there are no gross inadequacies. Whatever the inadequacies are, the, uh, he acts as the shock absorber to absorb those things. So here is the role of a teacher during seminar. Like I said, the topic has been selected. Your research topics have been selected between you and a teacher. And so you are given reasonable time to prepare. That is why I am teaching you now and I'm telling you to start a library search. Don't wait. Start the search after we finish this class. The teacher is at the background. During seminar, if uh, uh, the, the, you will um, share the screen, you will share the screen while I sit at the background and all other people. But uh, well, the teacher will make sure that she or he is following what you are doing. That is the important part. She's seeing what you are doing, but she is at the rear. And so she is there or he is there prepared to help you out, what, wherever you find yourself sticky, wherever you find yourselves tight, 
the teacher should be there to help undo what you are not doing well, to break the silence and to ensure that the silent points are not overlooked and that there will be no gross inadequacies because there can be gross inadequacies, I tell you. There can be gross inadequacies. Somebody could um, bring up a point, okay, like we were talking about exclusive breastfeeding and just begin to talk about breastfeeding generally. What makes them exclusive? What are the factors that make that breastfeeding exclusive? What are the disadvantages, if any, of exclusive breastfeeding? Why should we prefer to uh, engage in exclusive breastfeeding and not the ordinary breastfeeding that our parents used to do? Those are silent points. Those are important key points that should be spelled out. So using that as an example, it is the duty of the teacher to make sure that those silent points are not overlooked. Because where those uh, uh, silent points are overlooked, that will be gross inadequacy. That will be gross inadequacy. And it must be corrected. They make sure that all members are might have a share in the discussion and that irrelevant discussion is avoided. Very important, very important. Every member must have a share in that discussion. And that is why we have decided that for the group discussion, everybody, because it is your project work, everybody, must work towards the success of that project work. You won't keep it for one person alone to do. No, everybody will have to do it. When is this lecture ending? Hello. Just at one forty-five. One. One forty-five. Yes, sister. Yes, please. Okay. Yes. All right. Okay. Now, what are the advantages? Why should we bore you with this? Why should we not just come and teach you and go away? Why is it necessary to subject you to academic writing and seminar presentation? The advantage is that a student plays an active role seminar proposes uh, proposes that the student has the background knowledge i made a statement that once you graduate you are a graduate and you could be called upon any day to prepare a writer. You could be called upon any day to give a talk. Your charge nurse may decide to say, I'm supposed to go to that seminar and give a talk or that workshop. I cannot go. You are a graduate. You represent me. And you should be able to be equal to the task. You should be able to get the background. 
and that is the reason for the in-depth life research. That is the reason for the considerable life research. When you learn the act of getting into life research, you can write a paper any day, anyhow. And then a properly conducted seminar has potentials to teach the students how to be independent in presentations. I don't know whether you know most times when students are asked to come out for presentation, they are nervous. They are afraid. They have phobia. But that group will not, the people there of the truth cannot swallow them. But it's just that they get frightened. And so seminar presentation takes away the fright from the students. Hello. There's somebody whose system is problematic. Sister Francesca, please mute your mic. You are watching. Thank you very much. Uh, the man's in the background. I think they say one Francisca was responsible. So she's been asked to unmute to mute herself. So now we are on mute. If somebody wants to talk. Raise their hand. No, to okay. show here, you click on the person to unmute. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, students and the group as a whole try to solve a problem. That is the advantage of seminar. And that's why we made a statement that everybody must partake. So while the individual tries to solve a problem, the group as a whole also tries to solve that same problem. And at that time, they have exchange of facts and efforts to crystallize the group's opinion and to make everything clear. <clears throat> to bring out, it spells out the advantage in a seminar discussion. If there is a problem anyway, it spells out the advantage of the seminar because when there is a problem, the individual is trying to solve the problem and of course makes it known to the group. The group also tries to solve the problem. And while all of them are searching for how to solve the problem, they begin to exchange facts. In that measure, there is effort to crystallize the group opinion. And once that is done, uh, the advantage is clear. There is nothing to hide about the advantage. Thank <laughs> you. 
There is a thousand, mute yourself. Now, we can see what is there. You define the problem in a seminar. What is the problem and why is it happening? The blue arrow there is to develop a plan. What are we going to do? The yellow arrow is to implement the plan. While the green arrow, you evaluate. Still talking about whether we want to talk about exclusive breastfeeding or we want to talk about hand washing. There is a lot of diarrhea and vomiting on the world. Arhaman was a patient that came with diarrhea and vomiting. And now it has gone round the world. Why is it so? I think there is cross infection. Everybody touching this, touching that. Let both the nurses and the patients take care to wash hands as they finish one procedure to the other one, and even the patients themselves. You provide the materials for hand washing. And after that, you now evaluate. Did this hand washing plan work? Have our students stopped the diarrhea? I mean, have the patients stopped the diarrhea? Oh yes, it did. It has worked. I don't know whether you're following what I'm saying. So you define a problem. You are wondering why the problem is happening. That is the assessment. What is happening? Why is it so? What are we going to do? That's to develop a plan. You arrive at what to do. And you implement. That is the yellow arrow. You implement the plan. And then you evaluate. Whether you want to believe it or not, problem solving student uh, skills of anybody, not just the students, are sharpened by participation. What you hear, you forget. What you do, you remember. Because you have done it, you remember. And so no student is allowed to dodge. Students develop the vocabulary. 
articulation, problem solving, and critical skills as they do it themselves, as they participate. I'll give you an example. When I was doing my first degree, I had a colleague and we were learning theories, talking about developing vocabulary. And one day she, we were doing discussion and she started talking about Tondiki. And all of us were taken aback. What do you mean by Tondiki? He said, ah. she, she couldn't remember the Tondiki. That one you people are calling Tondike. So she's calling it the way she can remember. So she, <laughs> students, yes, students develop their own vocabulary that will help them. Tondike. Uh, and is it not D I K E Tondike? So you say it's Tondike so that she can remember. So that's exactly what we are saying here. Problem solving skills of any students are sharpened by participation. When a student is participating, that student develops her own. Uh, vocabulary that students participate and at the same time the student has an idea of problem solving and while he has that idea of problem solving he begins to think critically think critically on what he is doing. So that is very important. Very, very important. I'm waiting for questions. I'm waiting for reactions. Yes. You see, I'm ask, teaching and asking for reactions because this topic, I will always like to repeat myself. You have all the topics hinged here. Writing your project, defending your project, presenting your project. It all hangs here. Yes, I want to hear somebody talk. Hello. Hello. Are we still there? Yes. Yes, sir. yes sir. Why don't you people like to ask me questions? You make me feel uncomfortable. 
you make it look as if all what I'm talking about, you don't, I'm wasting my time. Are you around? Yes, sister. Yes, sister. We are here. Yes, sister. When you people are not answering me, how do I know you are there? If you don't ask me a question, I will stop. You are not enjoying the lecture, Abby. Hello. Hello, sister. <laughs> Are you not enjoying the Sorry, we are enjoying. We are enjoying. You can't enjoy lecture when you don't ask questions. You cannot enjoy lecture when you cannot ask questions. A seminar helps in self-learning. And promotes independent what? Okay, is it because I have not asked somebody to read? Okay, somebody reads. So you are saying that the woman is doing it herself. Oh, prof has forgotten us. Oh yeah, who can help us read? Do I have yes, a volunteer? Yes, sister. Yes, go ahead. A seminar helps in self-learning and promotes independent thinking. What do we mean by that? Once you are to carry out a seminar, as you are doing the library search, you are learning. As you are doing the library search, you are thinking. Because in the course of the library search, you are supposed to ask yourselves possible questions that would come up. I have found it. You are supposed to ask yourself possible questions that should come up. And so you are learning and you are thinking. Yes, continue. Ability to see own problems is increased because of personal difficulties can be compared with the personal uh, difficulties can be compared with what you are doing still talking about hand washing if probably yes you wash your hands all right but you do not take time to do the nitty gritty. Because I don't know for you, but we were taught as you enter the theater to scroll, you sing, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, happy birthday to you. You are using that song and taking time to clean your nail beds one by one. You clean them, you clean in between the fingers and you take it to the elbow. That's what we were taught in this book. And so we say seminar will help the person to learn 
will uh, promote uh, independent thinking, will stimulate ability to see the person's own problems. And you, uh, the personal difficulties are now compared with what you are doing. Now, if you are taught this method, as I am telling you, and you are doing it, you now begin to compare it. Ah, I never used to do it this way. Are you following? Go ahead. Carefully directed group spirit and cooperativeness. Yes. Skillful directed seminar promotes group spirit and cooperativeness. And, uh, and what? Cooperativeness. That's it. That is why we say the chairman of every group was make sure that the um, um, the weak students, the indigent students, should not be left alone. Patience, Adelson, what's your problem? What's your problem? So that by the time you do it carefully, the group spirit becomes one. The person that was indigent before will be happy that, oh, I am being taken along. And the person also will be very happy to be taken along. The person who didn't have patience before will also be happy that now she can cooperate with other people as they work in a group. Now, disadvantages seminar is a time consuming process. Seminar is a time consuming process. It cannot be applied to new students. It cannot be applied to new students. That is why you are doing it in your last year. You are not doing it in your first year because it is time consuming. By the time you get into the library to search the library, to write, you write and rewrite, you write and you read, you read it, you are not satisfied. It is time consuming. Seminar is time consuming. It cannot be applied to new students. Hello. Hi, sister. Hi. OK. If subject knowledge is poor, unnecessary discussions arise. Good. If the topic that is given is not understood by the students, unnecessary discussions will arise. The students will begin to talk what is not supposed to be said. The facts cannot be there. Go ahead. The approach to problem solving extends to student professional and personal activities. Yes. The approach to problem solving extends to students' professional and personal activities. You want to solve that problem at all costs. And so, the time you should be on duty, you cannot be there because you have not been able to solve that problem which you are needed to go and present. What you are supposed to do at home, you cannot do. 
because you have to do this, you, because you have to get this thing done. And so these are the disadvantages of seminar. Okay, who can tell us the advantages of seminar? Who remembers the advantages? I'm cutting the questions this way because you people have refused to ask me questions. Here are advantage, disadvantages. Who can tell us the advantages? From hundred level, I am to sit on holiday. Level 400. It's like you have not yet resumed. You are still uh, drinking cocoa and pose uh, and banco. <laughs> That is why I am talking and you people are not asking questions. Please give me the advantages of seminar writing. Hello, sister. Yes, please. We said um, one of the advantages are uh, that um, when we conduct a seminar um, very well, properly conducted seminars, it helps to bring our confidence. It helps to build your confidence. It also helps us to solve problems. It does what? We are able to identify problems and solve them. Okay. Um, Hi, Paul. Yes. Yeah, please. We also said that it helps in self-learning and promotes independent thinking. Please give her a round of applause. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Yes, and give the first person a round of applause too. Okay, the third person, go ahead. Yes. Hello, Prof. Yes. We also talked about, it helps, like we said, it helps the student to sharpen their skills in problem solving. It sharpens their skills in problem solving. Please, somebody give, what is this your name, Kipo? Yes, Kipo Prof. The dear, give her a round of applause. Yes, Rena, let's hear you. Oh, you are talking on another thing. No, ma. Asabed, can we hear you? Yes, Elizabeth. Ajay. Hello, sister. Yes. Please. Oh, you are so, network. Um, when the I said when the seminar is totally directed, for most group spirit and cooperation. Yes, when it is effectively directed, it helps in group cooperation. Please give them a round of applause. Yes, continue. Who else? Comfort, Asabi, can we hear you? Elizabeth, bring down your hand. 
Ah, who is midwifery 2023, 2023? Somebody is called midwifery 2023 at GCUC. Oh, 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 sorry, that's the host. Sorry, sorry. Yes, Elizabeth uh, Abasu. Yes. Is Elizabeth not in class? Abdul Salam. Wasila. Who can tell me what we said academic writing is? Hello. Hello. Hi, sister. Yes. What did we say academic writing is? Hello, sister. Yes. That is an index um, library search that enables an individual to write an academic paper. That is independence understanding. An academic paper that is independently understandable. And Give her a round of applause. Oh, oh clap for me. Sorry, say not for me. For Elizabeth, Agatha, you are saying not for me. Did you say anything? Agatha, no, what sister. is a seminar? Sister, please, I was just clapping for her. <laughs> okay, what is a seminar? Sister, we said um, a seminar is a form of class organization that utilizes a scientific approach for the analysis of a problem. Very good. Please give her a round of applause. Now I am encouraged because it was like I was talking to myself. Huh? It was like I was talking to myself. Okay. Um, what is entailed in organizing a seminar? Abdul Salam. Wasila. What is entailed in organizing a seminar? Who can answer that question? Yes. Sister. Yes, please. First, define the purpose of the seminar. First of all, you define the purpose of the seminar. Yes. Go ahead. Sister. Uh -huh. Please, you define the purpose of the seminar, after which you plan and then lastly evaluate it. You plan, then lastly, you evaluate. There we are. Define the purpose of the seminar. Relate the topic of the seminar and discussion to the main concept or the objectives to be achieved. You have planned. You have defined the purpose. The purpose is the purpose of discussing hand washing is to um, um, stem out the spread of infection. And then you look at this, the topic of the seminar. 
what is the topic? Effective hand washing. And its usefulness in prevention of infection or its effectiveness in infection control. So when the discussion is carried up, you want to find out whether that discussion has to do with the main concept. What are the objectives to be achieved? Will that discussion, will they write up help in achieving the, um, the objectives that have been set? Yes, give the first person a round of applause. Hello. Yes, continue. With what you are doing, you are now thinking of how to direct and focus on the discussion of that topic. While you are doing this, you organize students to express their ideas in order to keep the discussion at a high level of interest. All that one helps. And that is what I am doing here to help you. What we are doing here now is a kind of helping you in organizing, because when the time comes, I will not be able to see what I am saying now. That's why I'm asking you, ask me questions. Now that we are here, ask questions. Okay. What are the characteristics of a seminar? It is on the board. It is on the board. Teacher yes, is. Sir. Yes. And um, please, you said the teacher is the leader, the and also the group should be consist of 10 to 15 participants. <laughs> it shouldn't exceed 20 participants. 25. Thank you. It shouldn't exceed 25 participants. Yeah. That's the characteristics. In other words, the characteristics is that a seminar is usually small group of uh, a group, a, 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 um, a small group of people that have to discuss or analyze a particular problem with the teacher as the leader. What is the, the, the role of the teacher? The role of the teacher is to have students select, formulate, and resolve significant problems. And also, it should suggest sources of information. And like I told you, you have already, with the help of teachers, selected your topic. You will uh, formulate objectives of significant problems and of course, sources of information is the library. You have the e-library. The e-library is right at your doorstep. Your phone takes you into the e-library. You could use Firefox to browse, you could use, name them, Chrome or whatever. That is the source of 
your information. What do we mean by in-depth library search or considerable library search? Hello. What do we mean by in-depth library search? Hello, sister. Yes, please. It's when students are expected to do considerable library search prior to the seminar. That's what I mean. I say, what do we mean by in-depth or considerable library search? Sister, in our own words. Mm. Okay, when the students are able to dive well into the um, subject or the problem at hand. That is reading wide. Yes. In-depth library search is the ability to read wide. And students are able to read word. I just want to make sure you have grasped the important thing. We want to get into different definitions of seminar. We say seminar is a method of teaching, a form of a class organization that utilizes scientific approach. For what? Analysis of problems chosen for discussion. Another language for seminar is do it yourself. It's a do it yourself approach. The, app, the student goes to the library, the student do, does the writer. The student does the presentation. So it is a kind of do it yourself approach. I repeat, you will not be allowed to shy out of this because when you graduate, you will not need anybody to come there and write for you. It is you who will do it yourself. So you have to do it yourself. Yes. It is a do it yourself approach. Are we following? What do you mean, mean by an international seminar? Yes.
Hello, sister. Yes, please. Please, you said it is uh, a seminar by um, people come from different countries. Example is the ICM, the International Midwives, whereby all midwives conveyed at a, a seminar and presentation. Okay. People convene from all over the place for presentation of stemming. All right. It is, it goes beyond a country. So what is a national seminar? Sister. Yes, please. It says national seminar is within the country, but in, in national levels. That is in a national level. It does not go outside, but it covers all the, the, the regions. All right. What do we mean by a, an institutional seminar? Yes. Hello. Hello, sister. Yes, please. You, you said institutional seminar is in, within an institution or a college or a group of people. Institutional seminar. Okay, within an institution. within a college. What do you mean by a departmental seminar? Yes. Sister, please, is the same as institutional um, seminar? It's in an institutional- Very good. Very good. Very good. Give yourself a round of applause. Very good. Very good. A departmental seminar is the same as institutional seminar. It can be in the department, it can be in the institution. A national seminar is within that nation. It covers all the regions, all the states. While an international seminar goes beyond that country to another country. Now, which one is a mini seminar? Sister, it's a seminar within a classroom level. Good. A seminar within the classroom level. And which is the main seminar? 
Sister, it's a seminar within a dep departmental and institutional level. An institutional level. While a major seminar is a national seminar or an international seminar. That is very, very good. Does anybody have any question to ask? Hello.